This is not the final boss. What? But it ate him. It sure did. You could argue that that's the guilt monster. Guilt monster. Yeah. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. I'm sure he can persist through this. Yeah, probably. You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. You want to run. Sonny! There's no way out of this, is there? Come on up. <laughs> you tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Oh, you just threw up right in front of Basil. How I was going to say, you want to run. I'm out of skills. No skills. I cannot run, so I attack. Tell me, Sonny! Am I selfish for doing this? You want to run. Oh man, Basil's really- Sonny! Good, uh... Do you hate me? Basil really got the short end of the stick in this situation. I mean, basically, yeah, he kind of- He just happened to be there in the wrong place in the wrong time. Yeah. You want to run. Please stop it! I mean, I don't think they go into it in quite the detail, but I think in the lore he's the one who comes up with the idea to hang her from the tree, so he's not oh. completely innocent. Let's be clear. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Stop struggling, Sonny! I'm I'm so tired. <laughs> so he he's the one who came up with the plan. So uh. yeah. But obviously, I think you figured it out that Dad is the one who kind of picked going up on it. to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Yeah. Well, you picked up on that the Dad is the one who chopped down the tree. Yeah, yeah. And the speech is because I think he knew, and now they're divorced. <laughs> oh. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Can I offer oh, hey, you a nice egg in this trying time? I'm stressed out a little, you know? You cannot run. I mean, yeah. Th this is a very sad fight. Oh, <laughs> poor Basil. Mm hmm. Well, it's either him or me, so I guess it's going to be him. It's close, though. Why? Why won't you stop? Why indeed. Right. Oh, God, you're bleeding out your eye. Yep. Probably fine. That's yeah, probably fine. Oh god, it's sirens again. It's sirens again. It's probably fine. That's just heaven. <laughs> Curtains for them. Oh, hey. Hey, it's this kid. He's going to die, probably. Oh, hey, we can run in the streets now because we're ghosts. Uh, that's what it seems like. Yeah, we're allowed to run the streets now. That's where the grandma was. That's where she respawned. Yeah. Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost. But it's not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. Let's go back home. Oh no. 
Huh. So you're really dead. Maybe oh, we're really we'll, dead. Yeah. There's your dead cat. There's our dead cat. Well, we follow our dead cat. Let's see where the dead cat takes us. Oh my God! It's a dead cat rabbit. It's a dead cat rabbit. Now yeah, you're running alongside it. Yeah. Let's go home. Well, there's Basil. He's dead too. Okay. Oh my God. Hmm? Total fun. Yeah. Hi, Sonny. You find your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. Somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and here are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe they that. They just fist fight each other but to death? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is purgatory. This is the waiting station while they die. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. The photos in our album are not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. It's like that circle they all drew on their hands in the opening episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like yeah, that. It's, yeah, it's exactly like exactly that. Exactly like that. Yeah. Who's got the trap cards then? Yeah. Um, um, Kel, for God's sake. I don't know. He's basically Joey Wheeler. <laughs> he really is. Yeah. You should have done like Joey Wheeler. Why the f*** <laughs> did you do that accent? <laughs> uh, Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not too much, but I'll be cheering you on. Aww. Aww. What a nice moment. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? In heaven. Because we're dead. <laughs> Sounds good for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Let's go home again. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Oh boy, what's in the toy box? What is in the toy box? We didn't use the key to see what was in the toy we box. We haven't seen before. what's in the toy box before. Yeah, let's go see what's in there. Uh, where is the toy box? Uh, well, we'll deal with that in a second. Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. And when you die, I will cease to exist as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, like how most things are. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. Well, she's not like a fucking president. Like, I mean, you know. Not Henry Kissinger. Not Henry Kissinger, no. A bunch of stools. Basil and Hero set these up so everyone could watch me practice. There's the cat. Good kitty. One of two grandfather clocks. This one will always seem to be running ahead. Mari's collection of sheet music books. Despite Mari being organized everywhere else, these music books are a mess. They're hastily written notes on almost every page. Mom and Dad's collection of vacation souvenirs. I never liked vacations, but looking back, it wasn't so bad. 
You can do this, Sonny. You worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. So where is the toy box? Ah, oh, there it is. There's that mysterious room. Mystery room. Mystery room. Let's see what's in the toy box. Do you want to unlock the toy box? Sounds like a scary box. I mean, I think you can kind of know what's in there already. The final boss. Oh, the violin. Yeah. <laughs> That also got smashed when it went down the stairs. Yeah. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. Ooh. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. A grand piano. The word Amori is etched across the center. So now what do we do? Fight Basil. I think we did fight Basil. We won. He's in fucking purgatory. Uh, we're on true. a we're on a highway now. We're on a highway to hell. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, that's what it is. Fuck, I blew up my voice singing, doing karaoke last night. I can't do that too much. You should sing Highway to Hell. I probably should, that's but I think we'll get copyright song. struck. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I think it probably will. No, it's out of my register. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's been a long time since I could do Soprano. One of these guys looks different. Which one? One looks, or Basil looks like he's in black and white, but I can't see. He's, he's in color. Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh-oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell that pe to people, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, what did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Kel has lost $4,000. <laughs> He's not <laughs> doing well. <laughs> oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny, anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> That's the card game that Basil won. Yeah. <laughs> you look at Kel's hand. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sonny. It's it's too horrible. It's uh, the most tragic thing we've seen in the last hour. I'm going to lose again, aren't I? <laughs> Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies... Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. You look at Aubrey's hand. It's a two, a five, and a ten. What do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna check on Basil. He seems fine. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Don't tell anyone, okay? Are you sure you want to go? Might as well just take off. Yeah. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made them from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Oh, good for the violin. I guess this is kind of us saying goodbye to all of our friends, basically. Yeah. It's basically the, that kind of thing. We get... A nice little coda to all the memories we've made along the way. So, 
Uh, we'll do one more of these, and I'll tell you my thoughts here on stuff. <laughs> Hey, it's fun happy time. At the beach. Everybody at the beach. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. <clears throat> Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mari. Woohoo, nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Is it racist if Kel's eating watermelon? When you ask him like that. I guess that's fair, yeah. I guess I kind of front load that one there. That's on me. <laughs> we should have saved Taco Bell for just this moment. <laughs> I'm pissed we didn't. <laughs> hey, don't take a photo of me while I'm eating, Basil. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked so cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Hey, Sonny, do you want to see the photo of Aubrey? It's that one. Great photo. Aubrey is so cute, isn't she? <laughs> He's just firing out watermelon seeds like a Yoshi. <laughs> oh, good for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew, gross! Stop spitting seeds on me, Cal! Haha, <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? <laughs> you stop it, Aubrey. You're going to give me cooties. Good lord. These two. <clears throat> oh, it's this is the one again when I talk to him. Okay, never mind. There you go. Cap, let's do that. Cool. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. Uh, you were always so funny. <laughs> wait, that was you? My crippling whoops. fear of spiders? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Am I in trouble now, Hero? <laughs> well, there you go. Now we learned that the part of the fear of spiders is Mari's not a good person either. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, let's... let's Keep going on the path here, then. Are you sure you want to go? You remembered the taste of watermelon. It tastes more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. So here's my thoughts on what I would have liked to see it done differently is the idea that Mari was living out a stressful life and the act of pushing her down the stairs was such a betrayal that it just caused her to walk out into the garden and kill her. <laughs> like she was hiding like a hidden darkness within her that maybe you get more hints of in the game. That's what I'd like to think would be better. Oh, then, what you would have liked to have seen is if she... As opposed to two 12-year-olds having the ability yeah. to well, commit... I thought what you were just saying is how I thought it was going to go because all of like the depression metaphors leading up, I right. was like, this must be Mari. Like it must be... Right. It seems like a weird bait and switch to it's me. It's a very end. weird bait and switch. I don't know why they didn't go all the way with that. I would have liked that better. It but would have felt I, more relatable? More earned? Yes, because, yeah. again, you're asking two 12-year-olds to be able to commit uh, covering up a like, murder. It's also kind of like, oh, all which of Which they the don't have the... Which, name me one 12-year-old who has the ability to do that. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> uh, it was also like, what... So all of the depression came from, it's like, oh, I murdered somebody and I covered it up. Yeah, that's, that's like, a pretty that's... good fucking reason to have depression. Yeah, like, I was hoping for something, I assumed it was more realistic, or, a, you know, like more of like a well, that, real... That's why like, I like that iteration of it, especially when you know what's coming next. Yeah, so, yes. But it still feels so, like, realistic throughout it. So. Yes. So it, it's just such a mm. bummer that that little extra detail is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Oh, so Thank you for Bell. cooking for all of us, Hero. Yeah, Hero can cook oh, actual Taco Bell. It it's as nothing. good as the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all like what? it. What? He's good with raccoon and particle board. Don't you like it? That's a rare skill to have. It's one an day, interesting skill to put points into. But One day you're going to be a world famous Taco Bell chef and you're going to cook me lots mm. of yummy food and I'll weigh 300 pounds. It's exactly, yeah. Huh? What did you say? I am? <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. I believe in you, hero, and I believe in the ability to be fat. 
Oh, well, you say so. <laughs> well, that's on you there. That's fair. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait, wait a second. There's something strange in this photo. Hector, how could you? You. You. Uh-huh. Well, there's this one then, I guess. Oh, Sonny's awake. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Sonny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm a really good cook, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? Hmm, one is a very high-skilled position, and the other is uh, a job that'll make him a ton of money and probably get a lot of pussy. No, he should be a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe, but we're still young. We should dream big, right? Yeah, dream big. The idea of being a chef is dreaming big. That's, hey, that's, that's so cute. Mm, if, but, if a yeah. rat from Pixar can do it, like, I'm not interested. If a rat from everything, everywhere, all at once can do it. That was, that was not a, a rat. That was rat cocoony. Rat cocoony. <laughs> so great. My mom's going to have to say something about that. Hey, Sonny! I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? See, look at that. Uh -oh. What a nice picture. This could have been such a good shot. In fact, I had to ruin the photo with his poop. You. Oh, it's diarrhea. Okay, excellent then. <laughs> was there poop in the background of that photo? Did no, it was just on Cal. <laughs> oh, there it is right up there. Oh, well, there you go. There you. it is too. Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. <laughs> I guess for Kel, that's just he spilled orange Joe on himself. <laughs> oh, hey, little brother. Who loves orange Joe? Sorry, Joe? did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Let's go see Hector, I guess, then. Can we? No, I don't think we can. Absolutely, you are not allowed to see the poop monster. Oh, we can. Oh, there we go. go. Cool, I so escaped. So, yeah, gotta be able to get out somehow. Oh. Yes, Did it X make a sound effect? It sure did. <laughs> I sure did. Mari's cookies. Good yep, good for them. But a bold play. Underto undercut it with a, with a poop joke. As you do. Are you sure you want to go? You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. How many more pictures do we have? Huh? Well, we're, we're, we're getting through the album here. We probably got another two or three, probably, I think. And yeah, we're going somewhere. Yeah, let's go back to the dark picture book. We want to go back to the dark picture book where everything picture was book. full of red and shit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously the symbolisms are there and stuff, too, with, like, the red hands and shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, yeah. But in any case, I still like my version of the ending better. I don't know if that's fair that I should like a version of my own ending better than another game, and I'm implying that I still like it, but I don't know. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil! Basil! Take a picture of me in my new raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. Say fuzzy pickles. Or else... Why have I not been doing that bit this whole time? <laughs> God damn it! Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color, pink! One day, I'll dye my hair pink! Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel! You're a gross color! Who would dye their hair pink? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sonny, that reminds me! Mari and I were talking about dyeing her hair together. Mari says she's gonna dye her hair purple. Purple? You want to know what color I chose? Oh, God. Wait. Are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? I just said that. Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute. Mari thinks so, too. She thought it was very protagonist hair. Huh. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look great on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? I mean, she'll kick my ass, so let's just say yeah. yes. 
Sunny says he thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Psh, I'm gonna go drink my orange Joe. That's fair, yeah, makes sense. Uh, what is it, Sunny? Did you want to see the photo? Huh? See, there you go. Of course, he's making rabbit ears. Yeah. <laughs> he always has to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I? Maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Uh, Aubrey also almost said something along those lines before they got interrupted. Y yeah. Earlier. Well, it's definitely been... Uh, definitely the dream world version is definitely more prevalent, but yes, that's kind of implied too. He's, yeah, but uh, Amori has, or uh, Sunny has things to get over. Yes, a few uh, more things to get over. You know, depression, guilt, killing his sister, you know, okay. yeah. Possibly being dead or having a near death experience. A lot of that too. Are you allergic to you saying said, this line? <laughs> I got to go and talk about pet rocks. <laughs> You said you and Basil were playing that new Pet Rocks game. Hmm, maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? Huh? Yay, that settles it. One day, I'm gonna dye my hair pink. But maybe not anytime soon. I need to go through some shit. My dad is kinda strict about these things, you know, cause my mom's high on math. You know, that whole thing. And then her dad. Yeah, well, yeah. Wasn't in the game. Get slapped. Well, there you go. Cut yeah. before he could even get in. Mm-hmm. Well, here's some other stuff that was cut from this game. Uh, You could choose the gender of your protagonist. Oh, damn. But it was too much work. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you going on ahead, Sonny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. All right, well, let's go on ahead then. Go through the neighborhood. Go past the religious house. Are you sure you want to go? Well, cause I mean, it was in development for six years. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of those one thing. It's kind of that one thing. It sounded more calming knowing you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself. I mean, if it's something like this, like you have to, I, I respect the hell out of anybody who can put together something like this. Something oh, so yeah. specific. Yeah, fucking RPG maker. Yes, especially an RPG maker. RPG maker kind of sucks. But, I mean, made Undertale and Amori, so what the fuck do I know? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sunny. You get used to it soon enough. <laughs> Wow, this cake looks so amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, hero! I was gonna say, that looks a fucking big cake. That is a massive ass cake. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, hero! I love strawberries! Basil, Basil, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else, uh, it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Cal would get straight A's in school! <laughs> Hey, you can't do that. I was going to say, she <laughs> weaponized wishes. Damn. <laughs> Immediate. A wish? Ah, what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mar? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was Mari Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. And one, two, three, four. Uh, can they actually do this? Birthday. We can't actually sing this. YouTube will copyright it. Oh, no. I'm surprised they could actually say the words. Because <laughs> that, that family is very litigious. That, the uh, people who own the rights to Happy Birthday. That uh, that expired. It did. Yeah, they used a oh. whole bunch in The Witch from Mercury to take advantage of. Well, that of song. That. Well, that song <laughs> sucks, and we're not singing it anyway. Wow, it was used so good in The Witch from Mercury. I'll have to send it to you. I was gonna say that's another <laughs> Yuri show. Like, what on earth are you talking I mean, about? They don't make Yuri's. Is. It is exactly is. Well, it's a I also watched a golf show. show that was Yuri. Yeah, I mean that's like. 
Yuri adjacent. No, it's they want to. <laughs> that's very apparent that's in Birdie Wing. Yuri adjacent. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil. How is it that because they hold long, it's thick sticks the and they're very no, uh, it's not in the genre. Yuri is genre fiction. You're either in the genre or you're not. You the genre the is golf, but they want to. <laughs> You, you you follow the tropes. You work. They're in the so gay for each other. Like it's just. Uh, oh my God. Like that's like a yeah. looking into a thing. It's like saying. Make that a wish. Harry Potter is BL. Harry Potter is what? Is BL because Harry and Ron are into each other or something like that? But they aren't. The actual girls in Birdie Wing kiss. Oh damn. That's not like yeah, that's not still... yeah that's very different. You remembered. Basil smiled as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. And look where it fucking got you. Oh, that's what you get for saying it out loud. The violin mended a part of itself. But he didn't. That's true. He didn't. No, the girls in Birdie Wing are gay for each other. Yeah, I mean, maybe, but it's still not like a Yuri anime. Okay, I'm sorry that other shit is happening, but also girls are happening. Why does something have to just be romance? Romance is like a seasoning. You put it on like salt and pepper on a steak. No, that's dead there wrong. Can be, it's a genre. There can be explosions and also people... F <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Right, but then it's not a romance genre. Romance is a sub part of it. No, it can be part of it. romance is a genre on its own. I don't want any it's part. It's a totally unique genre Get or a totally independent house. I'm genre. I'm done with this. <laughs> it's a genre. That's like saying spy movies or spy things aren't a genre. They're just action movies. But you can have no a, spy a spy comedy movie. and a spy romance. Like, yeah, what do you, you think can. Mr. and Mrs. Smith is? What I'm do you think Spy you Kids have is? That, but it's just like. I don't know. You don't know anything about the genre. It's pointless to argue about what is if you don't even know what the genre is. <laughs> oh, so I'm too stupid to know what girls are like, uh, Well, that's not the genre. Like, that's why you just, you have it wrong. <laughs> My God. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow, a new basketball. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thank, thank you for belittling my concept of knowing girl 69ing. Great. See, you know nothing about the genre. Yes, clearly, yes. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. I know that doesn't actually have them <laughs> in it. Well, I, know I know it's, it's not a porn genre, but like romance correct. isn't automatically porn either. Correct. Uh-huh, you bet. We're, we're on the same page, but you and I have different definitions of what a genre is, I think is the issue. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. It's Yuri! <laughs> it could be. Yeah. This year, you get just one present from all of us. Santa did not come this year. You were a very bad kid, Sonny. It probably well, doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. He didn't murder his sister at that point. Yeah, not yeah. yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, there exactly. There is a giant-ass turkey Yeah, there, though. me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me, I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. He feels like he would be a morning person. I don't know why. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but... It might be his jock energy. Yeah. It's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And then there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. We all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. Merry Christmas. Hey, it's the violin. Hey, it's Christmas. It is Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. If only your gift came before this episode. Oh, damn. There'll be one more after this, I think. Probably, right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's in ugly sweaters. It's great. Oh, God. They're wearing matching sweaters. They, well, they're wearing one that says M and one that says H. Yeah. Ta-da! Because they're basically a couple. <laughs> it's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own, your body readied the violin to play. Is it a ghost violin? No, it's just a violin. You've seen the violin in the pictures. Oh, that one. Yeah, from the very first picture. That's why I called it out. The violin picture. You remembered 
the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind, because they believed in you, and no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them, because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. It's the last memory.